wanted to show you what I'm working on right now and maybe craft, let you craft along with me or watch me craft. I've been up to quite a bit with this. Sorry, I missed some paper when I was cleaning off my desk. I've been up to quite a lot with this photo folio. I haven't finished the front yet, but this is the front and the back. And then when you open it, you have this over here. And then there's some stuff in the back. I'm not going to show you the stuff I've already finished, but I thought maybe you could join me for the stuff I haven't finished. So here we go. This is a conundrum. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this page right here. This is a photo mat and maybe a journal spot or two. So I'll figure that out later. All right. All right, here's a big pocket with a photo mat, which again, I'll, I'll figure out how to mat that and what to do with it later. But we gotta get this page taken care of. And I have all my paper here in bins, my paper scraps, and then my ephemera and tapes. So I'm just going to set those down on the ground next to me. And then I have some double-sided paper, which I'm trying to save for things that need double-sided paper. But I have almost decimated all 48 pages of this book. So I think in the middle here, I'm going to put this guy. I think he's probably going to be the best bet. And yep. Good. Then I have one more page of this. So if I don't have a scrap big enough. So the way I do this is um, kind of line it up, figure out where I want it to sit, and then I draw my marks with my pencil, putting them off frame. So I draw my marks with my pencil, and then I'll lean forward and kind of right there. And then I get my paper cutter out and I cut the marks. Try not to get off frame a whole bunch, but I bet I do, but I do. So I have been just working from home doing the telework and doing the paper crafts, trying to kind of live my best self-isolation life, as it were, and get a good amount of stuff done. It's hard to see with that. As far as like um, crafted rose related business stuff or um, words and things and stuff. Or um, like just trying to do some extra cleaning around the house, do some relaxing. Every day is not um, activity packed. Some days I just sit and hang out with my kiddo and do my telework and nothing else. But some days I get busy. Today I got a little busy, but not too busy because yesterday we did the yard work and it was oh man it was a lot of yard work so i got a blister on my hand so i have a bandage and it hurts pretty bad still so i was gonna go out maybe finish some cleaning of some garden beds but no not with my blister hurting as much as it does i'm just gonna hang out and do other non yard work implement related stuff all right, here's my glue. I've been fussing with and trying a few different types of glue. Um, 
so far I've tried art glitter glue, reptile glue, crafters pick the ultimate glue, Eileen's tacky glue, glue stick, tried it all really and um, I'm starting to appreciate the differences between the glue. Like the crafter's pick will work really well for damn near anything. You could glue whatever you wanted with that probably if you had the patience. But it takes a long time to dry. So usually like if I have to do something with it, I'm putting stacks of heavy stuff on there or clipping it with my wood clamps that I stole from a person or I'm just holding it and waiting. But the reptile glue and the art glitter glue both dry pretty fast. The reptile glue does not dry as quickly as the art glitter glue does. Um, and then I have my dried out Lysol wipe that I saved to get the extra glue that smooshes out the side. Um, so reptile glue gives you a few more minutes than art glitter glue does. And art glitter glue is almost basically, like once it's stuck, it's stuck and you're not getting it off there without ripping everything. So they have their, each glue has this different purpose. This page is a little crooked, I'll try to fix that later. All right. So there's that one. So there we go. And then you open it. Do -do, do -do. Pretty neat. So we'll do a paper over here. I'll need a bigger paper. So let me put this back down. And drop this in with the scraps, which are all pretty small. Um, ooh, two kinds of stripes. That would be fun. So what I do now is I just, I'm going to look through the paper that I have left and see kind of what would go best, I guess. I think this is the one. These both go nice, so I'm going to put this on the front of this guy and then I'll put this over here. Get my pencil back out and again, just kind of. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Oh. I forgot there's a pocket here. So, we're going to put it. We're gonna pull up our scraps and see what we have that will fit. This is too much orange. Oh, I like that. See if I have a bit smaller piece of this one. I do, but they're all going the wrong direction. Let's 
Anyways, so I'm being very quiet. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot to talk about. I did some yard work. We cut down a tree and trimmed some bushes. And then we did the mowing and we cleaned some weeds out of some flower beds. Hmm. Today seems ridiculous to save that piece, but I'll decide later if I want to keep it or not. Oh, where's my other? Well, I don't care. Hmm. Oh, the pencil probably needs sharpened. What do I want to do? Yeah, I think we'll do like that. Hmm. It's almost the exact same spot as the other line that I couldn't find. Alright, anyways, so I don't know, maybe next we'll do some painting inside the house. We have some paint picked out for some of the walls, so, but maybe we won't. Who knows? All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm smudging the edges because this paper is printed paper, so that means that the, the core of it, or the middle layer, or the bottom layer, is white. And when you put it up against a black paper, it can look unfinished. So I've tried it without smudging it, and I've tried it with, and I think I like the smudging better. I think it it has an overall better appearance so that's what i'm gonna do yep and that looks good i like how this is in the middle and then this one is here with the butterfly yep one of the important things when cutting paper to decorate something is kind of paying attention to the shape of the paper to patterns and what it's going to be where when you cut it out so that you can hopefully get the best part of the pattern showing. And then here's this. So we'll just uh -huh. roll it down. There we go. And then the next thing will be this pink one. Okay. One could say we are almost done with this section. All right. So And then I like to tuck it down just a little bit, so I'll just go kind of past the top of the pocket, and then draw a line right there. All right. So bring my cutter back in, and then yep. So when I started paper crafting, I originally was just making like cards. And that's really it, just cards. And like little notebooks, like little, just kind of decorating, some flip open notebooks, that kind of stuff. And then I started watching YouTube. And what happened was there were a bunch of ladies on there doing a bunch of different stuff. Now we gotta make sure it'll fit down in the pocket. Oh yeah, that would look great. Voila. Um, anyways, so I started watching them. There are a few. There was Amber from Lyric Lover, although she changed her channel name. And then there's uh, Posh Paper Lady. Her name is eluding me right now, and I don't know why. 
she's really talented. And then there's the Scrap Queen, and she makes a lot of albums. And sometimes I get a little crazy with the glue. And then there's, um, oh, you know what I forgot to do is smudge this. And this is where the reptile glue will come in handy if you're forgetful like me versus the glitter glue because glitter glue would already be drying on here. And the reptile glue, you have just a minute. Anyways, where was I? So the posh paper lady, Sherry, I want to say her name is. Um, sounds right. She's super talented. She's actually, um, she's inspired me to use paper um, because I love it. To not just buy paper because it's on sale or it's cute or something but because I love it so the reason I'm working with this paper pad is because I was in Tuesday morning just poking around because I like to roll through there every so often and look at stuff and I met this lady who has a YouTube channel um have at it I'll post that down in the links below and um she was like, have you seen this paper collection? And she pulled out the paper pad and was like, here it is. I bet you'd love it. And I was like, what? This is gorgeous. So she was right. I do love it. I've made quite a few things with this paper collection. And I'm kind of sad that it's coming to the end. But once it does, once I get this album done, then I'm going to take the rest of the paper and turn it into greeting cards. Cause that's about what will be left with worth. I might do one miniature travels notebook, traveler's notebook if I have the paper for it. Cause I like to make those and I think it'd be neat to have one of those on my shop made out of this paper. Cause it's just so adorable. It's just so pretty. Um, and then the rest will be cards because that's about what there'll be left room for. So yeah. So, anyway, so how about it? My name's Jo. She turned me on to this paper pad, and another one that I'll be working with later. And then Posh Paper Lady, who I've watched for a while, and she just has the most beautiful paper collection, and she's always using just the nicest papers. And I was like, you know what? I should be doing that too. Like, I have nice paper, but I don't want to use it because I don't want to waste it. But I should just use it. So I started using it. And I'll tell you what, using paper that I'm in love with really has brought my crafting up a notch. Because every single piece, I just love. So, here I am making this photo album and I don't know I don't know what it's going to get used for but I know that it'll be loved by whoever ends up using it and I don't know if I'll be the one that keeps it and uses it or if I'll put it on my store website I have my own website now it's pretty exciting maybe I'll put it on my website I haven't decided yet when it's finished then I'll decide Oh, it's just so pretty. I think it would be great for like family photos or like a summer trip. You could do like European vacation in here, anything. I keep thinking about like old family photos would be nice in here. Just because they would like the black and white photos. I have a lot of those I need to put in an album. Um would look so nice with this paper. Um, I don't know, that's just me. Yeah. So for fussy gluing, I think I really like the reptile glue because it gives you a minute and you have time, you have time to 
use your bone folder and have to find it. Hmm. Could literally be in here. I haven't been thinking of it. Hmm. Well, I dropped it on the ground. Like you do. Okay. So here we go. It's one side. The other side, we could do hmm. well, we'll think about the other side for a little bit yet. And we'll put it in here upside down so we don't forget about it. But look, how nice does that look? I guess I could leave it blank and then on the back in like a the sparkly gel pen, they could write jelly roll pen. Hmm. Whatever. They could write whatever they wanted about life, the universe, and everything. Or I could map this with like a nice um, white paper or something. We'll see. I'll think about it. All right. And then this thing. I have to decide if these are going to be journal spots or not. So we'll leave that. that side of the page is done. All right. So now we'll flip the page. Yep. And you can see the other page that I have. I should have decorated these before I put them in. All right. So how do we want to do this guy? I think Start here. Amazing grace stuck in my head all day, and I'm not sure why. Hmm. Anyways, so I just fiddle with it. I just pick some paper and put it down and see if it looks right. And I think this one, I think I want to round the corners because it's kind of on the edge and it has a lot of potential there. For the corners to get jacked up. Oh, there we go. Which means we'll have to round these corners. Smudge the edges. Anyway, so I was saying like the YouTube channels that I've been watching, a lot of different YouTube channels that I've been watching, and how they've all inspired me. So Sherry, that's right, at the Posh Paper Lady has inspired me to use paper I love. Amber, Lyric Lover, has inspired me to start my own paper craft business and has given me quite a few ideas of different types of products I could sell. Um, combination of her and Sherry were like that, those two inspirations combined kind of led me to develop my mini notebooks, mini notebook holders. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think that'll be good. And then, um, <clears throat> Scrap Queen 
kind of encouraged me to continue what I'd already been doing, which was saving every scrap of paper and use them, use them in different ways to make different things. Like the first time I saw one of her videos where she took like strips of paper and glued them together to make a thing. I was like, oh my goodness, that's a great idea. And I did that for some Christmas cards that actually ended up selling quite well. Just because they were visually interesting, I guess. Um, and then, I think this guy will be good right here. Yeah. And then, um, I know exactly what paper is gonna go in the background here too, so this is gonna work out great. Um, lost my pencil. Anyways, so yeah, so these ladies have been a very big source of inspiration for me. I'm just rambling. I don't have very much going on in my life right now. I just do the teleworks and I lose my paper cutter. I just had it and I set it down. But where did I? Oh, I put it. In, I need it in a different wall spot. Huh? That's good. Just doing the teleworks and hanging out, cleaning my house, and a lot of time with my family, which I'm really appreciating. Um, I've been really fortunate in that my kiddo loves school. So I never have to fuss at her about getting her schoolwork done. She just does it. Um, sometimes I have to fuss at her about she can't do all the whole week's work in one afternoon if they get like a big assignment or something. But she's super enjoying this studying online. Who'd have thought? I hate online school. I mean, I get the reason it exists, but it's very unpleasant for me. So... I'm glad that she does not feel that same way. Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that great? And then I keep my smudger in here. I've got some little things laying around that are now smudged forever with distress ink, but I keep meaning to put them away and they just live there now. Anyways, I like to put this guy in here because I think it keeps it moist longer. So the ink that's already in the pad goes a lot further. Well, we all have our idiosyncrasies. Um, yeah. I don't know how many of y'all out there play the Pokemon Go. I've been playing that lately. Abra Community Day was on Sunday. And got my second shiny Pokemon ever. A shiny Abra got three of them, but they're not, they're not very good, but that's okay. I want to collect them all, so that's one of the steps, is getting the Abras that are shiny, even if they're not very good. Man, my band-aid's starting to look rough. All right, and the paper, or the middle one. white paper with the polka dots on it and I don't know what to do with it. I'll probably use it most of the card maybe. Alright. That's gonna look so good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this part with you and then I feel like I've been talking to you all for a while about nothing. So I should probably let you all up off of here. I appreciate if you stayed and watched this long. I really appreciate it. If you didn't make it this long, but you did make it kind of far, I appreciate that too. Every minute of watching helps. Um, when I retire from the work I'm doing here in a couple years, 
this is going to be hopefully my full-time job. So if we can get everything rolling, that would be amazing. I'll try to do more videos, but it turns out editing videos is not quite as fun as I thought it would be. Who knows? Maybe I'll delete all of this voiceover and I will just, or all of this voice and I'll do a voiceover talking about the things that I'm doing here. But, uh, Joe said I need longer videos and I should probably talk more if I want more followers. Oh, I messed it up. I don't want to waste it. So I think we'll just trim it on both sides and put it there, maybe. Oh, that's so sad when you do that. Set that in the straps. I'll try something else because that was my last piece of that. Mm. Alright. I'm just checking over here. Those polka dots will look good right there. Or maybe where having a washi tape problem comes in handy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this here. And then just to add some interest, we're gonna put this over the top of this, which means the whole dang set of paper. I couldn't resist. I bought the stickers. I bought um, all the paper. I bought a few extra double-sided papers. And I bought the brads. I bought the chipboard embellishments. Try to get it sort of in the middle. And just, oh, okay. 
after that reptile glue just comes right in handy. So you can just pick it right back up. That would not have worked with our glitter glue. So like I said, if it's a fussier kind of gluing, I much prefer to use the reptile. Our glitter glue is fine for like, it's really good for like smaller projects like cards and stuff. Because you have a better, I, I feel like I have a better bead on them. Okay. So I got glue leaking everywhere. So, now what we're going to do is take just a little bit of glue, and I just kind of zigzag like that, and then make sure I can frame, you know, because washi tape is designed to come back up. Right, so then I just maybe you can rub it with that, and then I like to get my finger blade out and line it up right with the edge of the paper. There you have it. That's it. And then we'll do it again on the top. The joke in my family is that you, you just have to hold your mouth right when you're doing like finicky or difficult stuff. And so if you ever see me crafting, I always have my tongue sticking out when I'm doing something like that. That's a little bit hard to do. Bam. Look how nice that looks. It's perfect. All right. So now we just got to decorate. Ooh. Move my hole punch right there. Just got to do this part and this part down here. And this is a big photo album. It's 8 by 10. Um, Scrap Queen just did an album that's 8 by 10 and I thought that was pretty neat. So I did one too. Right here. And let's not forget them. Solid orange is better. Don't you? Alright. Scoot it away over. So, one day, maybe I'll build one of these while I talk to you instead of just decorating it but I just really enjoy just kind of zoning out with like music or YouTube videos in the background or just building away
Plus then if I have an idea and I want to figure out how I can do it, usually I can just search on the internet and somebody has done it before. Like there's no such thing anymore as an original idea. This paper has such a nice feel to it. I love those. I mean, it's such a nice collection. I've used lots of different papers. I think my I'm developing favorite brands so far. Craft Consortium, Bow Bunny, um, Graphic 45. This beautiful paper. I have a collection that I couldn't resist. That's just waiting for me to do something with it. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet. But I'm going to use it. And then... You know, honestly, Recollections is still pretty enjoyable paper to use. It's got very nice designs, um, and some of it is just really cute. Um, I have quite a few recollection, Recollections paper pads. I haven't decided what I... Oh, I guess I'm picking this side. Look at that. I picked the other side, and then I went with this side. Oh, well... Poop happens. So I'm gonna just flip it like this so I can. Yeah, looks good. I actually like that quite a bit. And then up here we can use. Thing for now this one is this inside is where it's gonna be This is when I realize it's time to stop because I'm fussing. So I think we've done some good work today, though. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me.